It's the legend of Zelda, and it's really bad. Come on. Oh, there we go. oh my god, it's a Persona 5 controller. Isn't it awesome? Uh, I think you mean it's a weeb. I love it, though. Unfortunately, this is the last one that has. Oh, no. But I'm the only one who drinks them, so... Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Thank you so much. Um, they've got the they've got those ones in bottles now. They used to not, but but technology has advanced. Uh, well, I mean, not out here they didn't, but back east they do. Well, yeah, the, those you can find in regular stores back east. Yeah. Like in Colorado, I found those uh, at like your regular grocer. But God, fucking Utah liquor stores are the most uncomfortable shit in the world. The shame. The, the shame. shame! You can the feel shame. it! You can how shame you, aura. How do you guys feel shame in the liquor stores here? Nobody talks to each other, everybody's... When I lived in West Valley City, man, we talked to the liquor store people all the time. Well, like, to the to the employees, yeah. To dude. the employees, to other people there, like, we had a good time there. Huh. That's not the way it is in Sandy's uh, liquor store, which nope, is my it's usual thing just too. quiet. Is it shuffling like, around? Is it like heavy Mormon presence here? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so here's the gimmick of this temple. Oh boy! There are four ghosts that go out and hide. You got to track them. Down. And when you do, it'll activate the elevator that'll lower you to where the boss is. Is this a reference to Pac-Man? I think it is actually. Oh my god, it totally Holy is. Holy fuck, I never thought about that. Oh, this is where you get the bow. It is. I saw an eyeball. Gross. Okay. Did you know that when we look into each other's eyes, we're seeing each other's eyeballs? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Did you know when we look into each other's eyes? I have no follow-up. <laughs> um... That's okay. The butthole is the window of the soul? I mean... Uh, there are several windows to the soul, I find. I mean, butthole is one. Butthole can be one. It, it's definitely one. Butthole is the major one, I, I find. Alright. <laughs> I remember nothing about... <laughs> Alright! <laughs> I remember nothing about the water temples. This is gonna be real fun. Oh, this is the water temple. No. I mean, the fucking forest temple. You... See, that's how much I remember it. Jesus. Last time I played this game, I was so goddamn high that I couldn't figure out what was going on, and I still managed to, like, remember more things about it than you guys. You, you should have, you should, okay, well, you Silas... should watch this series, you should watch our slog through Jabu Jabu's belly. Oof, I am going to watch this series. Uh, his, uh, he, he hates Jabu Jabu's belly. He fucking, hates the stingers. It's fucking stingray, bitches. Pain in my pants. He couldn't get through them. He rage quit. I did. Yeah. You trash. I know. Get, I admit it. Get good. Oh my god. You are just fucking the worst. Oh, I know. He's accepted it at this point. God, yeah. it's like watching the uh, Game Grumps <laughs> play through all over again. Oh, they played through this? Oh my god, yes. Have you... Oh. You haven't seen that? Like, really like, like I said, like I, I'm willing to like support them and everything they do. Like they're nice people. I just, eh. I, I I'm more like, like uh, uh the main people that I watch are S are, are SGB mm -hmm. and uh, and best friends play. Have you watched best friends play? Never heard of them. You ought to look them up. I think you'd enjoy them. I yeah, I should. Um. I watched mostly uh, KM Interviews and Game Grumps. Mm. Which, KM Interviews is actually, like, I watch it for, like, drum cams. Mm. <clears throat> from Trashy nice. Post Hardcore Bands, because that's what I'm into. Because mm. I'm a fully functioning emo trash adult. <laughs> Apparently, like, are you familiar with Aiden, the band? <laughs> I've heard of them. Apparently, like, the the lead singer is getting in trouble for leading some sort of weird sex cult. Awesome. <laughs> That's so sick. I love it. Like, they're, I, as far as I can tell, Just they're... fucking take the fairy. You have one heart. You... Fair enough. I don't know. Eat the fairy. Just put it in your ass. Stop 
trying to break the. Just fucking fight. Put the fairy in your oh ass, Johnny. Oh my god. <laughs> At some point, it all just becomes white noise to see how much you guys can fucking bitch before. Just, just trying to take the controller away. Johnny still hasn't beaten Dark Souls 3. <laughs> nope. Uh. Let's see. Well, Dark Souls is such a good game. I love the Souls series. Never played, like, Demon Souls or anything, but. You're not I... missing much. Yeah, I hear it's. Just very unplayable. Is it unplayable? Or it's not unplayable. Literally unplayable. It, well, I mean, now it's unplayable as far as online content goes. Because mm -hmm. they shut down servers, but. Like. Like. It, it has this weird Mega Man style formula where the worlds don't. The world doesn't have a consistency. It's like, oh, here's this area, and uh, here's that can, area. You can hookshot those skulls, by the way. Okay. And knock their flames off. If I remember, oh, you yank them out of their flames, and then you can kill them. The, if if I'm remembering this, uh, the blue flame will take away your sword. I can't hook shot the eye, can I? I don't believe so. I believe it's arrows only. Yeah. Well, I hit the edge, so I'll give you one more shot. All right. Um. Let's see. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So I I. So, Demon Souls has its problems as far as, like, world building, where it's just, go through a portal into new area, and that portal is, like, and, and the, the th levels are pretty much non-connected, except for, oh, you have to beat the bosses in a specific order in order to unlock other bosses. Okay. Which I found... That defeats the purpose, though, of having uh, the free reign of the areas, though. That's that's why I feel that's what I feel is an annoyance uh, factor in oh, it. Oh, maybe blue doesn't do shit. Never mind. And <laughs> no, I think I just missed. No, no, I'm saying I thought the I thought if he hits you, oh, he can't use your sword. sword. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you lock on? You can just yank him right out of the flame without going into the first person. Do you not know how to combat? <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh my! Johnny, you are using the gamepad right now. D would you rather use something else? No, I'm alright. Alright. I'm gonna fucking cry. It's more fun annoying <laughs> people, because then it's like, alright, if you want to bitch, go ahead and bitch, because I'm not changing. It's not that it's annoying, it's sad. It's sad to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... <laughs> yep. <laughs> Oh, like I said, this playthrough's a nightmare that I'm just waiting it's like, to um, get over with. All right, so it's like this this kid, right? He's a paraplegic, and he rises up beyond every possible negative thing in his life because he wants to go to college, right? He wants to do something important with his life, get a degree, whatever. And he, <laughs> okay. he, he rolls his ass all the way to the university, you know, and he's going to overcome, and he gets there. And watching Johnny... Uh, combat in this way is like him getting all the just overcoming every struggle impossible struggle in his life to get to this university and find out that there's like fucking stairs only and it's just <laughs> watching him crawl up the fucking stairs <laughs> because by god I'm determined <laughs> and then when he gets to the top uh he, he dies of cancer. Like <laughs> Wow, that's a Whoa. Wow, that's a sad story. I went there. I was like, oh, and then he notices the ramp that was there the whole time. No, no, no. did dies. you see the combat? There's no ramp. <laughs> the paraplegic kid dies. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is why I don't like playing video games with you people. What do you mean, you people? You two! You fuckers! You're fucking bad, that's why. <laughs> Can't beat a game. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of cunts over here in the peanut gallery. Shut your cock holster, you cock bucket. Get bent. Get bunt? Get bent. Oh. Get blunt. Sorry, I, I would like to. Couldn't hear you all those dicks in your mouth. Mm. Uh, um. What you doing? Silence. There? What are you doing there? What? Well, no, I'm, I'm just wondering, what, what's going on here? What puzzle is this? Just moving boxes. Just moving blocks. What a wonderful game. <laughs> See, now I always thought it was like a little owl face. 
Oh, like the Kokri Owl or whatever the fuck? No, fuck that guy. He's a douche. Hmm. I, I actually don't know what you're supposed to do here. I wasn't paying attention. I was busy telling my, like, paraplegic child story. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I think you should jump down there, though. I mean, we know I'm gonna have to use the arrow here, but... You need to get it. Do you have a bow? So I, I see a doorway down there, but... I, I think that's where you came in from. No, 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 because I, I saw, like... Hold on, let me see if I can get a better show this. So, I came in oh, there. That fucking inversion. I came in there. <clears throat> That's a different door. So, I'm wondering... Can you hook shot doors? No. Isn't there a game <clears throat> Oh my gosh, excuse me. Hmm. Well, it did have that, like, chain shit on the door. Maybe... You can Maybe. I think... I don't think that's right, though. I think you need to, um... Somehow push a block down to get to it. Mm. Now, when the fairy fucking moves to an enemy, you can press the Z button to lock. Oh, I know. Anything that I say well, at this point is just condescend is just condescension. Because of how much I load this game. <laughs> okay, here we go. Did something. Something might actually happen, folks. I was wrong! <laughs> Why still... is it that only his right boot has traction? Uh, That's his good boot. <laughs> that was his dominant foot. A, do a dominant versus sub foot. He like stepped in a butter pile, but only with one foot. And it lasted forever. God, that don't fucking- I'm playing through Skyrim, and it's like, in order to cook anything, you need salt piles. And I'm just like, that's how we're measuring fucking salt now? In fucking piles? It's in a bowl! Just say a fucking bowl! Well, I mean, what is in the bowl? It's a pile of salt, right? <laughs> I, I don't... Whenever I think of a word pile, I don't think of anything relative to food. Really? I... I, I what would you? I cook for a living. I uh, I'm gonna claim to be the expert in this yeah, room. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, we have piles of shit. Okay, fair enough. Well, I mean, there you go. Pile of shit. Like shit isn't food for most people. I mean, I was gonna say. I refer to you everything as shit, mostly Silas and Johnny. Yeah. Now we have, we do have like we have stuff. It's in piles. Some of it. Some of it's in piles. But, like, if you've got a bowl of, sand, <laughs> uh, of salt, wouldn't you just say bowl of salt? Why is the salt in the bowl? Because <laughs> it's... The... Why is it not in a shaker? Well, you know, well, it was uh, the medieval we actually, times. We actually do have a bucket of salt. We have... We get buckets of sea salt. And, uh, we do put... Uh, it's... I want to say it's like a three-quarter to one-quarter ratio of sea salt to black pepper into shakers. And we'll use that whenever we, whatever, like season salads or something. And, um... So we do have, like, a salt bucket, mm. I guess. So there you go. You don't call it the salt pile that happens to be in a bucket. No, we call it the salt. There you go. Uh, but we do also... Um, cause we, we go through a lot of chicken. Jesus! We go through a lot of chicken, and we, we bake it all. Mm. Um, and we will put that away in some specific buckets for chicken. And we do call that the cock bucket. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, so, out of curiosity, uh, and if you don't want to talk about it, that's fine. Like, w when it comes to, like, uh, like... Being with your be being vegan and all, mostly vegan, like, do you handle like meat products? And yeah, work? yeah. It's a. I mean, I I love my job. I love what I do. Mm. Um, cooking is fun as hell. It's stressful. It's probably the shittiest career recommendation I can give to somebody. Huh. Because it's uh. Yeah, it's, it's stressful, it's gonna like fuck up your knees and ankles, you're like over a line all day, you're gonna constantly get like cuts and burns on your fingers, and it, uh... 
It sucks. People yell at you a lot, and you yell at other people, and it's hot. It's like our kitchen is on average 98 degrees mm -hmm. in the winter and like 103 in the summer. Mm -hmm. And we have zero ventilation, so anytime we chop and cook onions, it's like tear gas. There's like, ah, there's yeah. spices everywhere. Um, I dropped uh, the top of a panini press onto my hand once. I don't know what that is, but that sounds uh, very painful. Well, it's a it's a double grill that presses bread. And oh god! Like, so I dropped that on my hand once, and I panini pressed my hand. Uh, like shit, shit happens. But like, if you like it, it's so much fucking fun. Mm. Oh my god! So like, but I, I guess my question was like. You're comfortable handling meat products at your job? Or? Uh, yeah, I think it smells like shit. I think it tastes like shit. I don't like meat. Uh, oh. It gives you cancer. Uh, Fair. Um, yeah, I don't know. I eat vegetables, whatever. Right, okay. I, I was just wondering, just, just pure curiosity. I hate this! It is revolting!